Hi, I'm Steve and I create content for AdRonin, S9D, EasySL games and a whole bunch of clients. One thing I have to do a lot is create Instagram posts, social media posts, and I've done it long enough to know that I do not like doing it. However, I have become quite good at it and I have streamlined the process so that it actually becomes almost satisfying to create a whole bunch of content in one go and I'm going to show you how to do it. Make sure to visit adronin slash blog for more content like this, more videos, more tutorials, and a whole bunch of other stuff. Okay, before you open Canva, it's important to have a posting plan. So I'm going to pretend that I am a uh, upcoming celebrity chef and I want to post maybe six times a week on Instagram. The best post I do will undoubtedly be the spur of the moment post that I take a photo of something interesting because I find it interesting. I post it and my followers will also find it interesting. But I don't want to have the stress of having to do that every day. So I'd like a big old pile of, of posts that I can just draw from either pre-scheduled ahead of time or that I can just post from my phone. So spend some time doing some research about what kind of posts you want to make. What kind of things do you find interesting? These don't have to be crazily inventive posts. Just what do you find interesting? Do those. So as an example for my celebrity chef, on Mondays I'm going to do an unusual food post, on Tuesday a quote from someone I like, Wednesdays I'll repost someone else's post. Uh, you can just get a post, uh, repost an app on your phone. They're free, you don't even have to do the paid version, they, no one cares if you're reposting. On Thursdays I'll link to my newest video, on Friday a picture of a meal I ate last week, but I could have eaten it at any point in my past, no one cares and Saturday a recipe post and Sunday I'm not doing anything. The next step is to make one day's worth of posts at the same time. So in this example, I'm gonna do all the Monday posts, which is the, um, the unusual food posts. So let's get started. So how do I find unusual foods? Like everyone, I just Google strange foods and you'll find hundreds and hundreds of articles about this. And you just choose which ones you want, keep this browser open and we're gonna make some designs in Canva. So in Canva, I'm just going to create a design, uh, Instagram post. And now I have a blank Instagram post. And I'm just going to choose one from one of these templates, one that kind of matches my style. Um, I'm going to adapt them so they adapt, they change to our logo and our brand colors. Uh, so I'm going to choose this one. And so this is in Japanese. The colors aren't quite right, but it looks quite nice. So I'm going to change this to food um, doo -doo. I'm gonna change the font to the one that we use a lot which is Montserrat that's fine okay and then I'm gonna adjust it uh, you might notice that this is a white text on a rice so I don't want to do that because the food clashes basically the general rule is if you want white text on black or black text on white you know dark on light light on dark I'm going to move this up to here just to keep it out of the way so I don't have any color clashes. I'm going to upload my, I've already uploaded our logo. So this is our logo. Uh, is this going to be weird? It's going to be weird. Okay. So you'll get this when you um, try moving around uh, the picture. Sometimes it'll automatically go in there. Um, there we go. Now that looks terrible because this is uh, two different kind of reddy, red, purpley, orangey colors. So I'm gonna change the background color to a very easy black. That looks easy, that looks good. Uh, so I wanna make these more in line with my brand. So I'm just gonna uh, do my color picker. Uh, what's my color? This one change the color there's the color code boom and now that is more on my brand that's cool so my uh, strange food that, that's actually quite nice <laughs> um, so if I'm gonna do a strange food uh, let's do I don't know, puffer fish and you can upload a picture of a puffer fish or just go to photos and just do puffer fish I just did it in the test and there's a bunch in here you just drag it into I'm doing food, so I want to do the fugu version. Fugu. And there you go. That's fugu. I'm going to change this to fugu. And that's, you know, an okay post. 
Uh, but I want to do basically 11 more of these because I want to do all the Monday ones at the same time. So I'm just going to push this, duplicate. I'm going to choose another different food, which is let's say octopus. Let's do octopus. And uh, let's bring it in. It's not perfect, but I don't really care. Now, um, this doesn't look great. So an easy tip to make something look nicer is to just click on it, go to filter and uh, make it grayscale, make it black and white. And look at that, instant class. Uh, this isn't food though. So I'm gonna put that out. There we go. I'm gonna take off that filter. And yeah, just keep doing it. Um, resize each time, duplicate. Duplicate, change the picture, change the text, and you've got 12, you know, you'll have 12 Instagram posts in no time. Um, if you're thinking that these look all the same and it's gonna get boring, remember, these are gonna go out once a week. So there's gonna be six other different or five other different designs going also. So these aren't gonna look like overbearingly the same. If you would like to change it up slightly, or you have a picture that doesn't match this color scheme, um, just basically reverse the colors. So I'm gonna change this to to a white one. I'm gonna change the text to black. Uh, around this has a, there you go. And now I have a, a black and, there you go. I have a, a white version and I have a black version. And I can just duplicate this one if I wanna do the white version. And I can duplicate that one if I wanna do the black one. So basically that's all I do. I just create 12 of these, just bang, 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 and then download them. And then I move on to Tuesday's posts and Wednesday's posts. The only part that really takes any time is the initial post design. And that's very much a case of trial and error. Find a design, try it out, change the colors, change the font. Does it look good? Great. If it doesn't look good, delete it, choose a different one. You don't need to over design it. Um, people don't care about you know, over designed uh, corners and stuff. They only really care about the content. Just add a little bit of brand in, a little bit of your colors, and you should be fine. You can see a full write up of this video on our blog, which is at adroning slash blog, plus a whole bunch of other videos and tutorials like this. Uh, please subscribe, please like this video, do all the things I'm supposed to say at the end, and have fun making some posts.